Jesus passed that test. You have to pass that test. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God Ghost in the earth today. the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight, I'm going to talk about the biggest lie. And it's sadly believed by most of the church, most believers, even people in the world they believe this mm -hmm. and it's a lie mm -hmm. say it's a lie. it's a lie now something that's that widespread you could say that's the biggest lie and if it is the biggest lie it would have to be told by the biggest liar yeah. but if it's sadly believed by 99.9% .9 of the church or the believers then it probably is believed by you John chapter 8 verse 44 now here we have Jesus rebuking the Pharisees which were the teachers of his day John chapter 8 and verse 44 you are of your father the devil he was pretty blunt wasn't he yeah. he literally talking to the teachers the highly lifted up teachers of his day and he said you are of your father the devil and the lusts of your father you will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth meaning he was in the truth and then he left the truth say he left the truth, he left the truth. so now he's no longer in the truth right mm -hmm because there is no truth in him say there is, there is. No, truth no truth in him, in him. when he speaks a lie he speaks of his own for he is a liar and the father of it you have to be a pretty big liar to be called the father of lies mm -hmm he says he is the father of lies and there's no truth in him how much is no truth none. that's none there's there's zero truth in him so are we are we all right with that mm -hmm. can you agree with me yeah in contrast let's look at the holy ghost who is the spirit of truth there's no lies in him That's right. right say he, he is, the is the spirit of truth, of truth. and if you're the spirit of truth mm -hmm. you can't have any lies in you Amen. Yeah. is this true yeah. okay well let's look at this John we're still in John John chapter 16 so if there is a big lie or the biggest lie it's going to come from the devil the father of lies mm -hmm. it won't come from the spirit of truth right. okay john chapter 16 verse 7 nevertheless i tell you the truth. the truth it is expedient for you that i go away mm -hmm. for if i go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if i depart i will send him unto you is this true yes. and we know that actually happened Jesus departed and sent the comforter read down to verse 12 I have yet many things to say unto you but you cannot bear them now verse 13 how be it when he say he he, he the spirit of truth is come so he's a person mm -hmm. and he has a name called the spirit of truth it's one of his names yeah. and then he goes on to say he will guide you into all truth so you might not be 
in all truth yet but the Holy Ghost the Spirit of truth will guide you into all truth you will be delivered from the deception you're in or have the blinders removed from you mm -hmm. or the veil taken away mm -hmm. so that you can see clearly and you will be able to understand things and see things and know things that you didn't know before because you were blinded not knowing the truth say not knowing, not knowing. The, truth. the truth you end up seeing things the right way instead of the way you might be right now or the way you shouldn't be seeing them mm -hmm. when you believe a lie it makes the truth look suspect because you already believe this so then you go I don't know about that because you already believe something that's a lie yeah. you already believe something that's a lie and so when I come and present the truth to you you go mm, that's a little too far mm -hmm. but if you spend enough time say enough time, enough time with the spirit of truth who is the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. all things become clear and come into focus when you spend enough time with him mm -hmm. the one that Jesus sent then all things become clear and come into focus when you begin to worship him the spirit of truth they worship him worship you him. enter in behind a veil where all things are yours I hope you heard that you enter in behind a veil where all things are yours first Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 21 therefore let no man glory in men for all things are yours does your Bible say that mm -hmm. for all things are yours verse 22 whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world say the world, the world. you know what that is right mm -hmm. or the world or life or death or things present you know what that is right yeah. or things present or things to come all are yours are you here mm -hmm. does your Bible say this yes, it is it true mm -hmm. is this the lie no. no this isn't the lie this is the truth in order for a lie to be seen for what it is we must first see the truth we're going to expose the biggest lie but first we have to see what the truth is so that the lie becomes obvious mm -hmm. it's an obvious lie yeah. it's a big one mm -hmm. but it's an obvious one so you have to see the truth second timothy chapter 3 and verse 16 we're talking about the spirit of truth all scripture say all scripture all scripture, all scripture. say all scripture. All, scripture. all scripture all scripture is given by inspiration of God or literally God breathed some translations say that God breathed them out mm -hmm. and they became scriptures all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect thoroughly furnished unto all good works Amen. all scripture given by inspiration of God God who God the, God the Holy Ghost and his other name is the Spirit of Truth so here we have scriptures written by the Spirit of Truth are you here is this too difficult second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 for the prophecy of the scripture came not in old time by the will of man but 
holy men of God what Spake. spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so the scriptures came to us by holy men of God speaking as they were moved by the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. God breathed yeah. say God breathed, God breathed. truth mm -hmm. are you here yes. so the scriptures are by the Spirit of truth the Holy Ghost breathing upon men and them writing them down not by the devil forcing people to write lies are you here yes. is, is this okay so far I'm trying to set you up we have your Bible right is the book of Daniel in your Bible yes. Yes. let's see if we can find it Daniel oh there it is would the book of Daniel qualify as scriptures God breathed was Daniel a holy man a holy man of old moved upon by the Holy Ghost yes. the Spirit of truth and he wrote these things down mm -hmm. am I making this more difficult than it needs yeah. to be so you would say that the book of Daniel qualifies mm -hmm. to be true yeah. right these things matter so you're saying the book of Daniel is true which means it's not a lie are you here mm -hmm. yep. which means it's not not true what is not true a lie is not true yeah. so the book of Daniel is true okay <laughs> go back to Daniel chapter 4 this is with Nebuchadnezzar you've heard of him Daniel chapter 4 verse 7 then came in the magicians and the astrologers and the Chaldeans and the soothsayers and I told the dream before them but they did not make known unto me the interpretation thereof mm. verse 8 but at the last Daniel came in before me whose name was Belshazzar according to the name of my God and in whom is the spirit of the holy gods mm. and before him I told the dream so here comes Daniel all the other guys couldn't do it mm -hmm. but Daniel comes in and he has a superior mm -hmm. God with him yeah. the Lord of Spirits mm -hmm. also the Spirit of Truth yes. and this goes on for quite a while here and now he's giving the interpretation of this dream Daniel chapter 4 verse 17 the matter is by the decree of the watchers to the intent say to the, to the intent this is the whole point of this vision and this is what Daniel's telling him mm -hmm. to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will and sets up over it the basest of men so this was the intent that this dream was given that the living may know do you know who the living are would this apply to you yes are you the living yes say i'm the living, I'm the living. that the living may know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will is this true mm -hmm. is it still true I hope I paved the road clear enough to get us here that these words are true these are the true words yes. the true true <laughs> let's read verse 18 this dream I King Nebuchadnezzar have seen now thou O Belshazzar that means Daniel declare the interpretation thereof for as much as all the wise men of my kingdom are not able to make known unto me the interpretation but thou art able for the spirit of the holy gods is in thee go down to verse 24 and this is Daniel speaking this is the interpretation O king this is the decree of the Most High which is come upon my Lord the King 
verse 25 that they shall drive thee from men and thy dwelling shall be with the beasts of the field and they shall make thee to eat grass as oxen and they shall wet thee with the dew of heaven and seven times shall pass over thee seven years till thou know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will this is the interpretation this is the intent that you would know mm -hmm. that the most high rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will verse 26 thy kingdom shall be sure unto thee after say after after, after thou shalt have known that the heavens do rule mm -hmm. so all this ended up happening let's read down here verse 31 while the word was in the king's mouth there fell a voice from heaven saying O King Nebuchadnezzar to thee it is spoken the kingdom is departed from thee who took it away the Most High right he's gonna he takes it away and gives it to whoever he wants to mm -hmm. are you here yes verse 33 that same hour was the thing fulfilled upon Nebuchadnezzar and he was driven from men and did eat grass as oxen and his body was wet with the dew of heaven till his hairs were grown like eagles feathers and his nails like birds claws and at the end of the days I Nebuchadnezzar lifted up mine eyes unto heaven and mine understanding returned unto me just like that yeah. after seven years according to the word of the Lord mm -hmm mine understanding returned to me and I blessed the Most High <laughs> say he blessed, he blessed the Most High. High and I praised and honored him that lives forever whose dominion is an everlasting dominion and his kingdom is from generation to generation and all the inhabitants of the earth are, as re are reputed as nothing and he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth and none can stay his hand or say unto him what doest thou yes. who can stay his hand and say what are you doing huh. no one say no one. no one no angel no devil no man are you here yes. this was proof here Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Egypt at the time he was the biggest dude on earth mm -hmm. and God said go eat some grass and there he went mm -hmm. is this in your Bible mm -hmm. all right verse 36 at the same time my reason returned to me and the glory of my kingdom and my honor and the brightness returned to me say the brightness returned to me and my counselors and the Lord sought unto me and I was established in my kingdom and excellent majesty was added unto me verse 37 now I Nebuchadnezzar praise and extol and honor the king of heaven all whose works are what truth. all whose works are truth and his ways judgment and those that walk in pride he is able to abase there is one say one 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 who rules as we can see here and gives kingdoms to whomsoever he will and no one nobody no devil no nothing can stay his hand or stop him true or not true true Bible or not Bible spoken by the spirit of truth the lord of spirits or not i believe this this is what i believe mm -hmm. did jesus know this yes. this is something i oh, know jesus didn't know about that he'd never read the book of daniel that's new revelation no he knew this mm -hmm. say jesus, jesus knew, this. knew this let's look at luke chapter 4 are you in agreement with me that there is one who rules 
and gives to whomsoever he wills mm -hmm. no one can stop him Luke chapter 4 verse 8 thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve took Nebuchadnezzar a while to get there didn't it mm -hmm. he had to go through a lot of stuff before he figured it out Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only serve this statement by Jesus was a direct response to something that the devil said mm -hmm. yeah. let's look what the devil said Luke chapter 4 verse 5 and the devil takes him Jesus up into a high mountain and showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and the devil said unto him all this power will I give thee and the glory of them for that is delivered unto me and to whomsoever I will give it does this sound right No. what do we read in Daniel and believe me I got a lot of other scriptures besides just Daniel we only have a certain amount of time mm -hmm. this is a complete utter an outright lie Amen. but in a way you got to give the devil a little credit here if you have to lie to Jesus yeah. you better pull up your big boy liar pants and, and make the biggest lie you could possibly think of uh -huh. are you here yeah. and of course it didn't work Jesus said it is written mm -hmm. thou shalt worship who did Nebuchadnezzar come up with the Lord your God and him only will you serve it was in direct response Jesus was responding to that the devil saying I'm gonna give you the kingdom and the power and the glory because it's from it is mine to give mm -hmm. Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord your God Amen. and him only mm -hmm. shall you serve all things are yours when you worship him Amen. are you here and I'll give it to you false claim it was a lie as if it were his to give we've proved that it's eminently false according to Daniel and the Holy Ghost and the spirit of truth mm -hmm. and Jesus addressed directly where and from whom this power comes and it wasn't from the devil thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve and there you have it that's the biggest lie ever told pretty big lie huh yes. <laughs> he's the father of it how much truth is in that None. there is no truth in him sadly most people still believe that they live according to it they think it's true and they're under what the Bible calls strong delusion but the Lord of Spirits the Spirit of Truth requires more of you if you still believe that that all those things come from the devil and you can't go here where I'm talking about right now you're blocked you're blinded and you're kept out Jesus passed this test say Jesus Jesus passed this test. passed this test it was a test it wasn't a temptation a lot of people will go oh he was tempted by it because 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 the devil had all that power I prove to you scripturally scripturally say scripturally, scripturally. that he doesn't have that power none can stay his hand Jesus passed that test you have to pass that test I don't care what it looks like if you still believe that all these things come from the devil then you can't go here you stay out in the wilderness seven more whiles with your gnarly fingernails eating grass like an ox but you can't go here here is where all things are yours 
say here, here. Is, where is where all things, all things are, mine. are mine worshiping the Lord your God him only serving and all the kingdom all the power all the glory of it is given to you can you see the heresy of that lie mm -hmm. that everyone's believed and bought into yeah. and they can't go here and you'll stay there outside until understanding returns just like Nebuchadnezzar until you begin to worship the Lord of Spirits King most high thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve and all things are added unto you all things shall be added unto you are you hearing this yeah. the kingdom and the power and the glory of it will be added to you if you worship him and him only serve all shall be thine yeah. are you getting this mm -hmm. so many Christians I'm telling you so many Christians just, will just stay away from this because oh my goodness mm -hmm. but that's what the devil said the devil said he give me all this power will I give you and the glory of them if you worship me he just wanted to be like God he's always tried to be like God first Chronicles chapter 29 and verse 11 thine O Lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine thine is the kingdom O Lord and thou art exalted as head above all verse 12 both riches say riches. riches both riches and honor come of thee and thou reignest over all and in thine hand is power and might and in thine hand is to make great and to give strength unto all is this true yes. is this a scripture yes. by the spirit of truth and I pray that one day you may be able to say I worship you spirit of truth and all things are mine or it is by worshiping him that you enter into a place where all the things that he has become yours Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that they've heard this word this evening and great change is happening on the inside and blinders are coming off the reasoning and understanding has returned to them and they're beginning to worship you Lord of Spirits and are beginning to enter into the greatness that you have provided for them and made available to them in the wonderful name of Jesus we thank you for it amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you you are Lord of heaven and earth all things belong to you I thank you that I am blessed financially increasing in every way in Jesus name amen right